Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. This video is gonna be the first part of the beginner guitar lesson videos. So if you know already how to hold the guitar, how to start with a pick and how to learn the notes in this part of the guitar, maybe this video is not for you. So skip this video, come back later or check out my playlist. You're gonna find a few hundred videos. But um, if you don't know, these things about the guitar stay tuned so the first thing what you have to know when you pick up a guitar it's how to hold it and um, it's not good if you hold the guitar if the guitar's head looks down like this because um, in this case you want able to play harder chords for example this is a at nine because your wrist gonna be like this and uh, it will hurt. This position is not good. The other one, which is another beginner uh, mistake is hold the guitar like this. M maybe you saw a few blues guitar players, older guys who hold, who's hold the guitar like this, but uh, it's not good because of the same reason your wrist gonna be in the same position like this and and it's really and it's not good you have to hold the guitar like this the head should look up or horizontally and uh, yeah you are ready to go now let's talk about the the basic notes what what you have to know before you start so and actually it's really easy because a b c d e f g are the basic notes and after the g you have to start from the top so i will demonstrate it on the guitar so a b c d e f g and this note is gonna be another a a higher octave so this is the same note but this is a lower A note, this is a higher A note. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And from here, you have to start from the top. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I will stop here now because this is the first position of the guitar. We will talk about positions generally. So from this G, you should come back so this is a really good beginner exercise to practice the notes and if you know the notes and if you know this exercise you're gonna learn the name of the strings as well and um, with this exercise you will learn a few things about the pick so now let's start with the pick the, the picking should be alternate, it means, so every time you have to pick down and up a string. Down, up, down, up. This should be the first exercise, what you practice. This is a G string. So this is the third string. First, second, third. Down and up, down, up, down, up. Okay, one more thing. What I usually do when I when I when I use a pick, I I put my other fingers on the guitar. So this is why it's gonna be easier to find the strings when you change it. There are so many different ways. So many guitarists uh, pick the strings like this. It could be also good, but I recommend to to put your other fingers on the guitar's body because it, for me it's easier to find the other strings when I change a string. I hold the pick with two fingers. After that, put your other fingers on the guitar's body and let's find the third string, which is the G string. And you should start, you should try to pick down and after up, down, The next step uh, could be to jump to the other string, for example, a B string. Down, up, down, up. And 
last this is the the second string is the B string down up down up down up so you should this is the first exercise pick the G string four times and pick the B string four times G G speed is is not matter so you have to concentrate only the quality so down up down up down up down up if you're able to play this on the guitar let's add your other hand and uh, you sh you have to find a note the second fret on the G string gonna be the A note so this is the second exercise this is the second exercise so pick the G string four times two three four after try to pick the A note the second fret on the G string four times one two three four G If you can play this one, here is the third exercise. So G two three four A two three four B two three four A two three four G A B A G. So this was the third exercise. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after A again and start from the top, from the A. So this is gonna be the A string. Let's try the same exercise. Let's pick the A string four times. After put your second finger on the second fret on the A string, this Note gonna be a B note. So A two three four B two three four. If you put your third finger on the A string third fret, this note will be a C note. So A B C B A B. After that, you can add one more string. So A, B, C, and after the C, which note is the next? D note is the next, and D string is the next string. So A, B, C, D. Don't forget that you have to pick every time down and up, down and up. It doesn't matter if you change a string. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, D string, down, up, down, up. And you have to do the same, so add one more note to the D string, so D, two, three, four, and if you put down your second finger on the second fret on the D string, this note will be an E note. So D, E, D, E, D, E. If you put down your third finger on the D string third fret, this note will be an F note. So D, E, have to add one more string which is the G string this is the third string this this was the first exercise actually so G A second fret on the G string is the A note so these informations are really important so you have to practice these exercises properly so let's start from the top A B C have 
to add one more string, which is the B string. This is why it's a B note. I mean, this is a B note. This is why we call this string a B string. So B, if you put your first finger on the first fret on the B string, this note will be a C note. We will talk about the distances later. So C note. Three, four. If you put down the third finger on the B string, this note will be a D note. So C, D, C, B, C, D, C, B. Okay, uh, we have one more string, which is an E string, E note. So E. If you put down your first finger on the first fret E string, this is gonna be F note. F. If you put down your third finger on the third fret, this will be a G note. Okay, so let's start from, from the A string. A, B, C. And from here, you have to come back. So G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And uh, maybe you realize that we have one more string above the A string. And uh, I didn't talk about that because this string is the same as the highest string. So this was an E string and this will be an E string as well. It means uh, the, the notes on this string will be on the same position, same fret. So here is an E note, F note, G, A, so if you learned uh, the notes on the highest string, the first string, you know the notes on the lowest string. These informations are really important on the guitar. So this will be your first homework, your first few exercises. So hold the guitar correctly, it's really important. We talked about that. And uh, to learn the notes on the first position of the guitar, gonna be also really really important because we're gonna talk about the chords and this is why it's really important to know the name of the strings and the positions of the notes on the first position of the guitar. So this will be your first exercise. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And it's really important to, to say the notes while you play in it because this will help you to remember the positions and the notes. So, and you have to able to do the same thing, but uh, in the different position. So you have to be able to come back from the last note in this position. So G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So this is gonna be the first exercise. Remember that how to use a pick, you have to pick down and up every time. Say the name of the notes when you play in it. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about the first two chords, which is really important to know. If you would like to download the music sheet for this lesson, you're gonna find the PDF uh, on my Patreon page. And if you have any questions about these informations, just leave a comment below. I will answer them. See you in the next video. Bye.